everyone! So admittedly, this isn't the best comparison video because I messed up. I thought I didn't have both natural Monte, natural Sienna Monte Amiata. Is that how you say it? Please let me know. But anyway, so I started out with swatching Daniel Smith's raw Sienna against Roman Small's natural Sienna Monte Amiata. And they are totally, completely different. They're completely different colors. When I swatched them out, I was like, oh, Daniel Smith's raw Sienna looks really good, really nice. And then when I laid down this natural Sienna Monte Amiata, I'll just say Nat Sienna. There we go, Nat Sienna. It's much more yellow. And the raw Sienna, Daniel Smith's raw Sienna felt really orange. And I was like, hey, it looks like my French ochre. I'm swatching Roman Small's French ochre right here. And the hue is pretty much the same. So if you're looking for something like Daniel Smith's raw sienna in the Roman small range, take a look at French ochre. But I gotta say that the Roman small's French ochre, the catalog says that it has granulation, but it's too fine, honestly. If you want a granulating raw sienna or this type of color, then go for Daniel Smith's because Daniel Smith's granulates beautifully. Whereas the Roman small French ochre, even though it's the same hue, it doesn't granulate as apparently as Daniel Smith's version. But if that's what you're going for, then, then by all means, get the Roman small one. Okay, and here I am discovering that I do have Daniel Smith's Nat Sienna as well. So I'm swatching both of them out here right now. They're very close, guys. They're very close. Granulation, there. Both of them has granulation. Done. Hue, very similar. I want to say they have the same hue. The Roman small seems a tiny bit darker. I, it's a bit hard to explain whether it's darker or more muted than Daniel Smith's. But in Daniel Smith's mid-tone, if you see that it looks like a bit yellow, it's not that it's more yellow than Roman small's, but I feel like it's just more glowy. I've noticed that Daniel Smith has this glow to their paints. What is it? Is it a brightener? Can someone tell me, please? Do you use any natural siennas or raw siennas? Personally, I prefer transparent yellow oxide. But if I don't have one in my palette, I'm happy to use raw siennas, natural siennas. Happy to use them. I'm into yellow earths right now. <laughs> okay, well, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to pop them below. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.